Okay, so my rant this week is, okay, how can you tell if someone is not over their ex? I hear this a lot. And uh, especially women can be territorial when it comes to we wanting all your attention, okay? And... Uh, you know, so, okay, so here is key things that you can know that a person is not over the ex, man or woman, okay? If they're constantly saying negative things about them, that is a dead giveaway. If you constantly saying negative things about your ex, look, you just trying to put up a front that you still not in love or have feelings with them, okay? Mm -hmm. Number two, um, if your ex has a persuasion over you, if they call and say, hey, you know, uh, I got a flat tire. Can you run out, you know, help me out? If you have no thought about it and you run into your ex, uh, they're every trouble. I've heard men like, oh, I still give my ex money for rent. For what? What if they have kids? For what? <laughs> Pay your child support and move on. Oh, she look. Oh, she is. Uh, she frozen on me. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, go on. I don't know what's. I, I'm, I'm gonna talk about that. I, I'm gonna. I, I have a. I want to talk about that. Okay. Okay. Third. Okay. You going to an event with them and they ex is there. Why they at all the events? They still in the family. Like, hey. <laughs> no no sir <laughs> there was a situation where my friend was dating a guy and they had flew out to Florida and it was somebody in his family getting married she said she's sitting there three of his exes was at the at the uh, marriage she said what the hell is mm -hmm. this so well, that, you know that's, that's not too bad if it's three of them that means that the, that you know it's not just one. So he he could still be over the other three. It's the family's not over. It's, it's just because I know some guys. Every woman they date, they bring around their family, mm -hmm. which I don't get. I don't get. Uh, it. I don't understand that because I can tell you right now, it's, it's some people in my family. Like, look, Fred, until you get engaged, we don't want to meet <laughs> whoever you're dating. Because what happens is we meet the person, we get attached to the get person, attached, and yeah. you know, you're, you're you. So you're going to, <laughs> you may not stay with the right. person. And I know this is a hard one. If you was with your ex and you bonded with the kids, if y'all break up, I'm sorry, you got to break it off with the kids too. This is a big yeah. problem in dating. You get attached to the kids, y'all going out... Oh, we, we broke up, but I'm taking her son to the football game. No, you got to break all that off. My I son's know. mother and sister. <laughs> I know how bad it may different. sound, but you have to literally cut all ties if you know that you're not going to move forward with somebody you was with. Yeah, because walking into a relationship, I know as a guy, that's something that I look at. Yeah, I'm sure you're, you're right, but I... Any any other ones? Because I want to talk about That's that. It. That's, That's all I have to say. Okay, let, me, let me talk about this control about the kids, okay? This control. So it's interesting because on the, on the flip side, you hear women say a lot of times, well, we have kids together, so we still need to have some type of interaction. And he still needs to help. And right now, a lot of, unfortunately, a lot of people, not just women, men also view baby mom and baby daddy as a title. Right. Similar to on the level of heck, some of on the level of marriage, yeah. you hear, I got that kid. You're always tied to me, huh? <laughs> and that's how they view it. So, how would you? How do you separate doing something for the children and doing something for the ex? The ex is out there with a flat tire. Does the kids have to be around there for you to do something for the ex, or just how how do you, how do you differentiate that? As, in your opinion, if that they're not your kids, correct? No, they're my. They are. So let's say me and my. I have my ex, my mm -hmm. ex-wife. Okay, uh, ex-wife, even ex-girlfriend. She calls me up. Me and 
my girlfriend now we're kicking it, and she needs some help. She got a flat tire. Let's say it has a flat tire or something, uh, or furnace might have, or hot water heater might have went out, something like that. Uh, would you be mad if if I get up? You no, know, she's there with my kids. If I get up and go help her, is that wrong? Or is it a situation where she if she's by herself, it is what it is. What what's your thought process about her, that that control in that situation? Well, the first thing that come to mind: How old are the kids? Okay, if they older, then no. Um, if the kids are younger, then yes, I I approve that because mm -hmm. they don't they can't think for themselves. They don't, you know what I'm saying? They don't have no options. So yeah, and you had kids by her, so go go and help. Um, one thing about having younger kids is when a man go help, whether he likes it or not. He's progressing his kids. He needs to look at that, not progressing her. So many, so many times men look at like, oh, I'm progressing her. No, you got kids by her. You're progressing your kids. You know, so okay. that's the bottom line of that. Or you need to watch who you have kids with. Well, 